why they piss people off. That's what that is. Ten millimeter. There's a hose and it goes on the car. What kind of fucking design is that? So I've done a overflow tank change before and I had some crappy little pump to get the coolant out. So this time around I decided to not. Hold on, it's gonna okay. don't pull it too hard. Twi Finesse it and twist it. Give it a little love. Oh, oh, there's some coolant right. It's at the tip. Now I've already wiped this down once. I will wipe it down once more because I'm handling it right now. Here's an update. That's half full. That's almost half full. It's actually heavy. That's heavy. Are you kidding me? This catch can's worth its weight in gold. So this is it. I finally, finally finished this little piece. <laughs> um, there's really not much to say about this mod. It looks pretty good. Um, you know, obviously it doesn't blend in too much with my coil covers, but it blends in just fine with my um, k and heat shield. If you look, it's not bad at all. It's a little dusty. But everything came out pretty good. The only thing is, obviously, I got one drain there. And then there's one drain all the way at the bottom. That's it. We taped off the cold fill line and didn't paint that. This way you could still see the liquid and I think it looks freaking awesome. And that's that. Very simple, completed our day with something very simple. And uh, I love mod day, I really do.